Alright, what is going on everybody? Super Saiyan Paul here, back at it again. I'm joined by Unreal and Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about the Dragon Ball Superhero movie. Once again, we're going to be talking about my favorite character, Broly, his role that he has in this movie. We've seen him teased a couple of times, and I'm really excited to see what they bring to the table with him, hoping here that he's just not an Easter egg character, but let's dive right into it. So, for me, what I've seen so far is that he's going to be training, and you've seen this as well, where he's training with the other Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta, alongside Beerus and Whis. So, so with him training with them that means that he's gonna have a, a purpose in the future and i'm hoping i'm hoping they bring him into some really really climactic battle where they can really showcase his new prowess in terms of like let's say if he's training with these gods i don't know if he's gonna get like MUI or Ultra Ego or anything like that, I feel like that would be overkill, but him to actually hone his powers and for them to actually show him that he has some control now, especially let's say if we saw Rage form Broly actually able to talk and control himself. I feel as though one that would add a ton of character to him, like we're talking about like the final third act of the Broly movie, that specific version of him actually able to interact with everybody and throw some jokes with the Z Warriors. I think if we were to ever see that in theaters, that would be one of the laughing moments. At the same time, we know that this is a warrior, not to be messed with because i feel as though if they gave him super saiyan god or super saiyan blue too soon that would be overkill i think he would one hit almost everything that comes onto site and i think that would be broken but them giving him a chance to really flesh out his character and i think that's why they showed him in base form um would be the best way to do it because that base form they kind of associated that with the new version of broly and his compassionate character versus old school demon menace black air force energy dragon ball z broly from the movies and i think they're gonna play off of that but I want to know what you would think, Alex. Like, what do you think they should do if they bring him into Dragon Ball Super Superhero? Do you see him fighting right away in terms of, like, fighting a main villain? Or do you just see him training off in the background? I mean, I personally see him training. And, and I think that's the idea, is to better allow for him to control his power. I think that it makes sense to kind of see Broly be the one to hone his abilities and be able to kind of, uh, kind of adapt diff differently. Because Paragus, through admission, said that he once became a great ape. He, you know, condensed the power of a great ape down into a humanoid form, which is very, which is why we call it, you know, call it Broly's wrathful form or Ikari Broly. So that's pretty cool. I don't want to see, I mean, although it would be busted, I don't want to see Super Saiyan God Broly, Super Saiyan Blue Broly, Ultra Ego Broly. I, either one of them, I mean, if he were to achieve either or, would be terrifying, but I think he needs to adapt and go about things in his own unique way. So what I mean by this is he was strong as hell while he had his, you know, full powered Super Saiyan form. Now, can you imagine if, you know, he had discovered to go as far as to discover Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3? I mean, he was deadly as it was as a regular Super Saiyan that they needed to fuse. Can you imagine if we even to that extent saw a Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3? So he's keeping it traditional, which I think should be the case because I think Preferably, I would be a sucker to see a Super Saiyan 3 Broly, as big as he is, long hair dripping, you know, we, we see Ba and all that stuff, Ba's ear. Like, overall, I think that what Broly needs to do is be established in this movie to suggest that they're trying to help him. Maybe Lemmo and Shilai had, you know, so he could speak a lot better instead of talk like this, Broly good guy, chocolate good, you know, Broly don't like fight. You know, instead of like talking like a caveman, they could, you know, emphasize more on allowing him to speak better, understand things better. I would love to see Whis kind of tell Goku and Vegeta like, hey, so, you know, as good as you guys are, you know, this guy here, he, I mean, if he were to really tap potential and really do his thing, he could, he could blow right past you guys in terms of like superseding potential. So I think it would be insane, but you know, keeping it to where he's different in his own unique way, I think that'd be great. Now, in terms of like seeing him in like the final act of the movie, I, to me, I think it's inevitable because why wouldn't you have all three of them come to Earth? And that would be a really cool thing to see Gohan meet Broly for the first time in Super's continuity. Like, because we know that before they beat the crap out of each other, but now it's more or less in a sense where he's Gohan's like, hey, I'm going. And just to kind of, you know, formulate those friendships and to show Broly, like, hey, you know, this is what we're about here. So either way, I think that the movie, to me, I have like this weird feeling that it either might open up with something involving dr hito finally you know being set free from prison stuff like that you know because we know that from him so you know it's either gonna open up with some like red ribbon stuff or the movie off the gate 
is going to open up on Beerus's planet. Why? Well, because Goku and Vegeta are training Broly in base like Whis always wanted them to, to kind of further emphasize to Broly to suggest, hey, you need to train in base and you need to kind of like get used to this power because X, Y, and Z reason. Now, in terms of like, I guess we'll get, but in terms of his future, it's quite unknown. I think that this movie needs to kind of like establish that because if you don't establish what Broly's future is, then what's the point of training him if that if that makes any sense? So that's just me. I think that they need to definitely kind of emphasize that and tell us like where they're going with this. And I guess from there, just see what happens, because I, I'm pretty sure they're not training him for no reason at all. I'm pretty sure that, you know, by them training Broly, it's going to also in turn help them out in terms of growing, in terms of adapting. So, you know, I, I guess we'll see. But I, I like the direction they're going in because instead of just killing Broly, they're actually doing something more just to simply help the guy out, you know? And not just that, like him being a fan favorite character and fleshing him out to the fullest is probably, let's say, if no matter what the fandom thinks about like the superhero movie and let's say, let's just theoretically say that the movie kind of falls flat. If they open the movie with him, that's a bunch of hype right there. But let's say no matter what, even if the movie ends off badly, let's say if the fight wasn't all that, if you bring Broly in in that final chapter and you have him befriend the heroes and let's say throw some callbacks back to the movies in terms of like the second coming, even let's say go to the trunks with like a bio Broly type of Easter egg reference with those two talking to him, I feel as though as bad as let's say if anything happens in that fight where it's not up to par, that will relieve a lot of the tension and you will walk out of that theater feeling like, okay, at least we got that moment because for some reason Broly brings this magic to the screen where especially for, like for me, I'm a Broly fanboy, I'll be honest about that, but um, where he just brings this, this energy where it's like, wow, we got this badass on the team and if they really do bring that character in there and they flesh it out, I'm just going to be looking forward to the future of the Dragon Ball franchise regardless, no matter what happens in the movie because if they ended on that tone, we have him on the Z Fighters. Even the way the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie ended with Goku talking to him and saying, yo, I want to train with you. Those small moments right there, as small as it was, even if it was like a couple of moments, it felt like it felt like everything to me. Like just seeing it every time you see Broly being canonized, it's just a jaw dropping moment because, wow, this demon from all of these years is actually on the screen in such a compassionate way, in a likable character way. And I can't wait to buy more merch from him and stuff like that. So for me personally, Broly will make or break either the intro or the outro of the movie him training with the gang will also show us them training in base form which would be pretty epic because it won't be something crazy and out of reach where they're going to destroy planets with punches or even like shatter the universe so we're going to actually see some like hand-to-hand -hand combat and see some more back and forth dialogue and if anything if dragon ball superhero doesn't double down on the fighting because i don't know if they're gonna be able to match what they did with the broly movie with this 3d animation at least they have the opportunity to flesh out the characters so in the 3d animations space hey we can get some more jokes we can get some more fun between the characters and really double down on that and moving forward using this these more fleshed out characters we'll see more action in the movies afterwards with depending on how the fandom reacts to how this animation goes down so whether it be experimental whether it be for the younger generation whether it's to pull into new, new fans regardless we have some likable characters here and with broly i feel as though he is an ace just waiting to be used up whether in the beginning or the end of the movie and he's like the saving grace for everything well, that's the thing too like i i'm really curious about like what his future is because why are you training him if there's not a plan for him so i definitely think that there's a plan for him but i i at the same time though this kind of puts into question so many other things in terms of okay well is he going to be kept neutral or is he going to be a good guy definitively or you know perhaps maybe Frieza's is going to find a way to manipulate him kind of giving him time to cool off and to suggest, okay, well, at the end of the Broly movie, you know, Frieza told, you know, Blueberry and all his crew, we'll be back for him. In the meantime, let's just do our thing. So there is a lot. I mean, they, they, they open up a whole can of worms if done right. But I do like how he's training. They're trying to help him. I'm assuming that things aren't going to be easy. I don't, in my opinion, at least, I don't see, because there's no empirical evidence to suggest this, but I don't see Broly fighting Beerus in this movie. I definitely think that there's going to be somewhat of an interaction to where Beerus kind of asks Goku, hey, so this is the guy you said that was close to my power. This was the guy that you said that per I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. And then Broly can make a snarky comment by saying, I am stronger or something, something like that. You don't have to have them fight, but you can tease that. And a simple tease would go a very long way because 
there's anticipation to look forward to in terms of what they can do in the future. So it really all depends in this movie as well on whether or not Broly ends up fighting, you know, Gamma 1 and 2. If to some extent we end up seeing, you know, Gamma, Gamma 1 and 2 fuse and we see, you know, them work together to fight Broly, Goku and Vegeta, stuff like that. So, you know, internally, I think that by keeping him the way he is, I think it's a great decision. And I mean, let's just say as an as an as an example, if he ends up fighting Gamma 1 and 2 and ends up losing or even the final villain, whoever that may end up being, if Broly ends up fighting them and losing, that would be shocking as hell. I mean, at least to me, as I'm sure many other people would look at that and go, what? But I don't see that. However, if he loses to UI or UE, that's fine. I mean, because these guys busted their ass to get that far. But point being is I, I like how they're keeping it grounded to where it's like, okay, we, we have to help this guy. We have to, you know, teach him and, and just show him the ways of getting stronger and, you know, being able to hone this power instead of just losing control. And to that, I think it opens up many doors for us to see what lies on the horizon. And I don't see any room for them to mess up, but never say never when it comes down to. Yeah, and especially with Broly, like a lot of the groundwork has already been corrected in terms of like the backstory and all of that. And having, like I said, the rule of threes, usually we have a, a trio now instead of just a Goku Vegeta show. We have Broly ready to jump into the scene for season two of Dragon Ball Super. So I feel as though them adding this much of a likable character and the Broly movie showing the three fathers and how that was all built up. Them having a third fighter to kind of fill that roster anything that goes down to earth now i think everybody's just waiting for when this guy is gonna jump in so that really really brings a bright light to the future no matter what happens and i, I think we're all just itching for when broly's gonna power up to his fullest if we're gonna see him go into like super saiyan 3 or whatever the next transformation may be maybe not too soon maybe not too um not right away but down the line when is this guy gonna go all out when are we gonna see a controlled broly how is his character reacting to the other characters how's his humor and how's his compassion to the other ones who is he protecting? All of these elements that make a Saiyan a Saiyan. Like for Goku, it's his family. For Vegeta, it's Bulma and the family. Um, For him, get, finally getting to see him on the screen and seeing what he's fighting to protect, I think uh, it's going to touch a lot of people's hearts. So Broly, I, I'm really hoping for his future to be great. And hopefully they don't mess it up, but we can't say for sure. But I, I don't think it's going to be something that they can really mess up. And I think that they're really treasuring him like in a sense of where they're going to just show him for like bursts until they're ready. So... Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys want to see from Broly? Do you think we're going to see him in the intro or the outro of the movie? What do you think his role is going to be? How far do you think they're going to push him? And what do you want to see from him in the future? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Check me out on Twitch. I'm streaming every other day slash Super Saiyan Paul. Also check out Unreal's channel, Unreal on Gaming. We'll be catching you guys next time. All right. Take care, everybody. Peace.